The federal government has reassured Nigerians of its unwavering commitment and readiness to provide the needed resources to bring to an end to terrorism, banditry, and other forms of insecurity in the country. The Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Lingyadi, while speaking at the commissioning ceremony of the West Africa Police Information System, WAPIS, in Abuja, says the center in Nigeria will help promote interagency's collaboration towards intelligence sharing that will provide the security architecture of the country and the West Africa region. He says progress achieved in the implementation of the WAPIS agreement signed by the federal government in 2019 will also help build the capacity of national law enforcement agencies. Without a dedicated police force, that is well equipped, trained, motivated, and technology driven. Whatever facility we put in place to assist in fighting crime will not facilitate the desired results. I would therefore like to reassure Nigerians, and in particular our officers and men of Nigerian police, that President Mohamed Bahari is fully committed to the fight against all criminalities standards of peace in the country. Government is therefore determined to provide the needed facilities for police to assist them in the fight against all the cr crimes bedeviling the country. The facilities and technical expertise provided will remain a source of breakthrough for Nigeria police in tracking major crimes within the West African sub-region. The operation of WAPIS program at this critical period when Nigeria and West African sub-region are faced with critical security challenges will graciously enrich the Nigeria police force in our effort to combat organized and transnational crimes. As today's inauguration illustrates, we have the means, we have the people, and we have the technology. What we need now is the continued strong political commitment that Nigeria has already demonstrated to take the implementation of the program across the next for the WAPI Center to be fully effective, some uh, work still needs doing. So we need to, uh, an adoption, as it was mentioned by my predecessor as well, of the law on data protection applicable to the WAPI system. We also need to ensure that staff continuity exists and we request Nigerian staff that is trained for the use of WAPIs should remain in place for at least three years. Um, we also would like to see making the WAPIs uh, system mandatory for uh, rapid national ownership. I'd like to draw your Excellency's attention to the fact that the WAPIs program is due to come to an end in June 2022. However, most of the activities could not be accomplished within the project period as a result of bureaucratic obstacles in the operationalization process at the national level and the absence of national budgets to support the project, which have also been compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic. On behalf of the Accords Commission and our 15 member states, I'd like to appeal to the European Union, our funding partner, to kindly consider extending the implementation phase of the WAPIS project beyond June 2022 for at least a period of 18 to 24 months in order to ensure its successful implementation in the remaining member states. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.